Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make um, drool bibs for babies. This is a great beginner sewing project, and there is a free pattern on my blog. Just follow the link in the description. Um, I made these bibs to have Velcro in the back. I just find it's easier to put that on a baby and it's a little adjustable. You can make it a little smaller or a little bigger. It's also safer than using snaps because I worry a little bit about snaps falling off and um, a baby swallowing it. So let's get started. For this project, um, the fabric I like to use is, I often use quilting cotton for both layers. You want the bib to be um, a little bit absorbent, but you don't want it to be so thick and uncomfortable since the baby will be wearing it um, throughout the day as they play. I also like to use um, double gauze because it is um, a little bit thicker, a little bit more absorbent, but it's still soft and has a nice drape so that it's still really comfortable. Um, I prefer not to use flannel with this bib just because it's so thick. Um, it makes it uncomfortable. So it really kind of depends on how absorbent you want your um, jewel bib to be. So now I'm going to cut two pieces of um, the jewel bib pattern using um, this is double gauze and I've done a double layer. If you are using um, two layers of quilting cotton, I do recommend cutting your bib so that this part of the bib is on the bias. It will make it drape just a little nicer and it won't be so stiff right under the chin of the baby. Um, if your print is directional, you can't do this, but if you kind of have a, um, a scattered print, then this will work. Before we pin the edges right sides together, we are going to add some Velcro. Um, that's how we're going to attach it on the edge. You can also use snaps, which you would add at the very end. But if you want to do Velcro, you need to add it before you sew it together. So take your pieces. One side is the hook side and one side is the loop side. So remember, one side is the inside and one side is the outside. So you're going to put one uh, you're going to pin one Velcro on uh, one side and then you're going to pin the other Velcro on the same side of the other piece. Now you're going to sew this Velcro um, one side across and the other side. You just need to do three sides because this side is going to be in the seam. So you do that for both this one and this one. Now that the Velcro is sewn on, we are going to sew the bib right sides together. So place the fabric right sides together and then pin. Now we're going to sew all the way around the bib and leave a four inch hole for turning the bib right side out. Now before we turn the bib right side out, we are going to trim the corners to help reduce the bulk. And since there's um, a curve right here, this is a inner curve and on inner curves we clip. So you're going to want to add a couple of clips to the seam allowance. Now I'm going to turn 
the bib right side out. Now you're going to want to take a point turner and poke out the corners. Be careful not to push too hard so that you poke a hole in the fabric. Now I'm going to iron this um, so that all the edges are flat and crisp. Now the last thing to do is to top stitch all the way around the bib and that will um, close the hole. And now the drool bib is finished and to put it on you just you know put it around the baby's neck and attach the velcro in the back if you want to make your velcro longer you can make it a little more adjustable and make sure when you do the velcro that the hook side you know the side that's more scratchy have it facing away from the baby's skin and that is how you sew an easy drool bib for babies I can't wait to see all of the drool bibs that you make. Please share them with me on social media. I hope you have a wonderful day.